Meanwhile, Lafayette police continue to investigate the two threats against Lafayette High School. Aaron Griffin spoke with law enforcement and has more on the consequences of making a school threat. You will be arrested and you will be charged. The terrorizing is one example of a charge that, that fits a lot of these situations. That's a felony charge that's got a maximum penalty up to 15 years in prison. So that's a very heavy consequence if you're convicted of terrorizing. So that's, you know, to anyone, whether you're a student or non-student, you really need to think before you make decisions like this. Officials say when school threats are false, these incidents take away law enforcement resources from the city and its residents. They say evaluate and think before making a decision of threatening a school. Initially, when you get a call like that and you hear that, I mean, it's it's emotional. Obviously, you know, all officers respond as fast as possible. And it's something that you, you're hoping while you're driving there that this is a false alarm and this isn't the case. Officials say that they need to treat every threat call like it is real. They will send manpower and resources to the scene as soon as possible to stop the situation before there is any tragic outcome. In Lafayette, Aaron Griffin, KTC TV3.